Hey kids, welcome to Culinary Kids Week 4 and for this recipe we're going to make a frozen yogurt bark. This is really easy, it's very delicious and once you do it on your own you can add different toppings, you can add you know different things. So for this recipe you're, you're going to have some frozen yogurt, this is just vanilla frozen yogurt, some yogurt, this is just vanilla yogurt, some blueberries, strawberries, coconut flakes, and some chocolate chips. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna put your yogurt in a bowl, just like this, and your blueberries too, like this, and then you're just gonna mix. So we're gonna mix all this together, and once you mix all this, you're gonna add it onto a baking sheet with either parchment paper or aluminum and make sure that it's a little thick. Don't make it too thin because then it'll break whenever you're trying to to take it off, take it out or eat it or whatever. So you're gonna just put it on your baking sheet like so and then you can make any shape you want. If you like, if you have a cookie cutter, you can do that. You can make a little, you make, make different little shapes. So gonna do this much it's gonna be a big circle because <laughs> I don't have imagination so once that's done you're gonna grab your strawberries just gonna put them up into tiny tiny little squares because this is just gonna be a topping so you're gonna cut, cut them real small like so as small as you can like this and then once you cut these you're also gonna put top it off with your coconut flakes and your chocolate chips so our strawberries are cut up so we're just gonna add them onto our yogurt just add them like this and then you're gonna add your chocolate chips. If you have um, any walnuts or almonds or whatever, you can add those too. If you have white chocolate chips, you can add that as well. Different kinds of fruits, more blueberries, and you're gonna top it off with some coconut flakes. So once you have this, you're going to take it to your freezer and it's, you're going to let it freeze for about two to three hours and it'll be ready. Okay, so this is the end result. This is what our bark looks like. It's really good. After that, you can just pick it up and just cut it into smaller pieces. It is going to be a little hard, but you can just cut it in smaller pieces and enjoy it. And you can always store this for about two to three months in a Ziploc container and you have a snack for every day. All right, hope you enjoy.